This is going to be an energy healing and a guided meditation for any lack consciousness that you are holding on to. And so lack consciousness can present itself in every single area of our life. It has been well ingrained in our human programming through generations that perceived the world through lack. It's a survival mechanism that no longer serves us. And so most humans are dealing with a lack consciousness in one area of their life or another, and many of us, it's pervasive whenever we truly examine it. And so for this meditation and this energy healing, we're going to be using words and intentions. I'm going to be flowing Reiki energy to you. And we're also going to be calling in the Violet Flame, which is a tool to transmute any energy into another energy. So for this meditation, we'll be transmuting the lack energy into an abundance energy. So please just get comfortable sitting or lying down turn your palms up allow yourself to receive taking full deep breaths we often limit how much air we breathe in for this meditation breathe deeply breathe abundantly There is an abundance of air, and you can breathe as deeply as your body allows you to breathe. And I want you now to just examine where you are holding on to a lack consciousness within your own experience and within your own life. The first thing that comes to many of our minds is a lack of consciousness around money or finances. But it can be, as I said earlier, all pervasive. It can be in relationships. It can be with our time, not feeling like we ever have enough time. Feeling like we have to do certain things to make money, have a certain job to make money, that we are capped off at a certain salary that we have to work a certain amount of hours every week to receive a certain amount of money, that we're constantly running from one place to another, never able to rest or enjoy life. We can have lack consciousness surrounding our freedom. We can have lack consciousness surrounding not just romantic or personal relationships, but all relationships, feeling like others don't understand us, that we cannot be our true selves or cannot be authentic. We can have lack consciousness when it comes to business, when it comes to the amount of clients we think we can have, or even on social media, whenever we focus on a lack of likes or responses. I just give these up as examples to allow you to really dig deep now into the areas of your life where you are holding on to a lack consciousness. And know that a lot of times the ego's first response to this is to become defensive, to tell you, I don't have a lack consciousness, to become resistant. But what we must understand is This lack consciousness is not a reflection on who you are. It's just a program that has been ingrained within our minds that creates certain realities. So it's not the truth. And it's something that with your intention can be healed and can be transmuted into an abundance consciousness. So take a few moments now as you set your intentions of the consciousness that you wish to transmute from lack to abundance in every single area of your life. And as you're doing this, I'm just flowing 
you energy to help with your healing process. How does your lack consciousness become reflected in your everyday life? What examples have you seen that show you there is a mentality of lack hiding within your subconscious? When we shine awareness on these, they cannot lurk in the shadows any longer. Once we see these as separate from us, then they no longer hold their power and we no longer are able to create and recreate lack in our world. So we're going to call in the violet flame now. Just allow this process to happen. Imagine that there is a violet colored flame surrounding your entire body and it acts as a magnet pulling from you all of your lack consciousness. So allow this to just pull out all of the lack consciousness that you've been holding on to within your belief system within your energy field anything you've been holding on to within your body or your mind in any way calling in Saint Germain and all other light beings who can help with this alchemy process it's like you are getting an energetic operation where they are just taking all of this out of you. All of this consciousness of lack, known and unknown to you. Pulling all of this energy out into the violet flame. Continue to breathe, continue to allow. And we are now calling in the violet flame to go through your ancestral lineage, starting on your mother's side and your father's side. This violet flame goes through all the generations back and it pulls out and alchemizes all the lack. It goes into your past incarnations washing through all the lifetimes, past incarnations, all the generations that have made up your specific genetic code. This violet flame is going through all of this, washing through it, sweeping through it, and taking with it all of the lack, all of this lack energy. allowing this process to happen, just breathe into it. Any resistance that might come up, consciously or unconsciously, is being called into this violet flame. And 
and it's as if you can look back into your lineage and just see a clear pathway where there was no lack. You can look into your energetic field now and just see clarity. And so we're asking that this violet flame within you, your entire being, and your lineage transmutes all this lack and infuses your energetic field with abundance. Just breathe in abundance. And if any residual lack comes up, we just send it into that violet flame and it's instantly transmuted. What does abundance mean to you? What energy are you choosing to create within you right now? What energy are you choosing to create in your reality? What does your life of pure abundance feel like? What does your life of pure abundance look like in your reality? There are no limitations. The old rules that we have been taught that have come from lack no longer apply for you in this moment moving forward. Allow yourself to invite in limitless energy, limitless possibility. This is truth. Lack is an illusion. Abundance is the truth of who you are. There's nothing bad, there's nothing wrong. That's an outdated mindset. Breathe in this abundance of love, love for yourself, seeing that love being reflected back to you in your world. Breathing in an abundance of security, always knowing that you have more than enough, that you don't need to hoard anything, that the universe will forever give you what you need, what you desire. Calling in an abundance of freedom, freedom within your mind, freedom within your body, freedom within all of your experiences. Calling in an abundance of joy, feeling joy now and in every moment, knowing this is your true state. Calling in an abundance of peace. Knowing that in this moment and every moment moving forward, you are able to live from a state of peace. The struggle is over and has been transmuted. This energy that you are cultivating within will very quickly be manifested in your outside reality. And this energy will be permanent. You do not have to fear losing it. This is your permanent state, a state of abundance from this moment moving forward. And if there's any last area where you would like to send this violet flame to, I invite you to do so now. You can imagine it Pulling in any debt that you may have or going and alchemizing any relationships, 
alchemizing bank accounts or job situations, alchemizing anything left or residual within yourself. Take a few moments just to allow any last pieces of lack within yourself or within your world be called into this violet flame energy now and transmuted into abundance. And we set the intention from this moment moving forward, we think in abundance, we feel in abundance, we live in abundance, we expect only abundance. And anytime old patterns or programs of lack come up, this violet flame is always available. You are always able to call it in to transmute any residual lack into that of abundance the moment that it comes up for you. So we give gratitude for this process, for all the beings who helped, for the violet flame. Give gratitude for where you are right now, what you have in your reality right now to be grateful for, what you have in your life. Being grateful for your uniqueness that you were born with. Allow yourself to be overwhelmed with gratitude. And with this state of gratitude, just breathing deeply once again, feeling yourself grounded in the here and now. So be it and so it is. I'm wishing you love and light and unlimited abundance. Mm -hmm.